ISO 259 is a series of international standards for the romanization of Hebrew characters into Latin characters, dating to 1984, with updated ISO 259-2 a simplification, disregarding several vowel signs, 1994 and ISO 259-3 phonemic conversion, 1999. Topic. ISO 259 ISO 259, dating to 1984, is a transliteration of the Hebrew script, including the diacritical signs used for Biblical Hebrew. The dagesh dot inside the letter is always transcribed with an overdo, b, g, z, etc. The apostrophe, in the table above is the Hebrew sign Juresh used after some letters to write down non-Hebrew sounds, g, d, z, z, t, etc. Topic. ISO 259-2 ISO 259-2 simplifies the diacritical signs for vowels of ISO 259, and is designed for modern Hebrew. The dagesh is not transcribed accepted in the indicated cases. The apostrophe, in the table above is the Hebrew sign Juresh used after some letters to write down non-Hebrew sounds. Topic. ISO 259-3 ISO 259-3 is Uzi Ornan's romanization, which reached the stage of an ISO final draft FDIS but not of a published international standard is. It is designed to deliver the common structure of the Hebrew word throughout the different dialects or pronunciation styles of Hebrew, in a way that it can be reconstructed into the original Hebrew characters by both man and machine. It is neither a character-by-character -character transliteration nor a phonetic transcription of one pronunciation style of Hebrew, but is instead phonemic from the viewpoint that all the different dialects and pronunciations of Hebrew through the generations can be regarded as different realizations of the same structure, and by predefined reading rules every pronunciation style can be directly derived from it. Each consonant character in the Hebrew script is converted into its unique Latin character. ISO 259-3 has five vowel characters, corresponding to the five vowel phonemes of modern Hebrew, A, E, I, O, U. In addition there is a sixth sign for denoting the vowel, E, J, or, E, that is written followed by Y in common Hebrew spelling, A. The Degesh Forte gemination in Biblical Hebrew is transcribed with a double consonant. Non-phonemic vowels are ignored, such as Schwate, which is however transcribed with an underscore, underscore between two identical consonants in order to distinguish it from a geminate consonant, yeladim jeladim, boys. Topic. Yeladim, halawaya halaluya, halaluya. Hal underscore luya, segalit. Vowel on the second to last consonant an unaccented vowel te, which can also be the vowel ha on some laryngeal consonants, or ye, etc. Golem golem. Golem. Topic. Golem, Zohar Sohar. Opening, window. Core. Furtive. Pata ha an unaccented a sound before some final laryngeal consonants, rewa uix. Breeze, spirit, equals ra, but ISO 259-3 also allows the transcription with A for non-linguistic purposes, rua. Topic. References Topic. See also List of ISO transliterations ISO 233 for Arabic transliteration